Chocolates and Tomatoes is a certified organic farm that specializes in about 120 varieties of vegetables, as well as artisanal chocolates. We primarily vend at only farmer's market on Sunday mornings, 9 to 1, uh, right up on, on 108. But we also do a lot of work with local restaurants, and we do a lot of work with Mana Food Bank. So we're proud to be one of their farmer partners, and I think we donated about 9,000 pounds last year. Well, as a farmer, I think we're really on the front line of, of all the concerns about climate change. We can actually see it every season in the crops and how they grow. This is a plum tree. It's a methylene plum. And this is actually the first year it's been in the ground. And how the growing season is extended. Or, um, and so it's just, it's something that's very much on our mind. Um, we're very aware of the environmental uh, aspect of the business. And so when Douglas reached out and, and suggested that it would be a way for us to get certified, we looked around and said, hey, these are all things we're doing already, and this is a great idea. Thank you. Well, we, we recycle all the, the wastewater that we can, the gray water. Um, so if we can't use it for potable reasons, then we're able to use it to water vegetables, um, things like that. We try to do uh, composting as much as possible. Um, we use uh, the tunnel that you're standing in right now actually helps us with soil erosion. So we, we also have um, our, our light tables in our seating area are solar powered. Uh, and then the heat we use throughout the winter is geothermal. We also use drip irrigation uh, for our watering needs. So drip irrigation is a system that allows us to put down water specifically at the plant roots. It reduces disease to the plant, but it also helps reduce the evaporation. So a typical overhead irrigation system, you'll lose 50 to 70 percent in just evaporation as the water flies out over the plants. The drip irrigation allows us to run it under the plastic mulch uh, and just really reduces our water use and impact. We don't use any pesticides at all. Um, really the soil is the currency of the organic farmer and so we have to build that year on year. And the best defense against pests really for us are other insects. And so we bring in beneficial insects when we need to. Uh, we try to create and build a habitat that will sustain populations of beneficial insects just from nature in general. 